Hello everyone! Welcome to Nana's Kitchen. I'm Dorothy from Rossville, Georgia. And if you're catching me live, you'll see the live in the com uh, up at the top. You'll put a one in the comments and tell me where you're coming from. Tell me what you did today. And yes, 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 we're doing sausage balls. If you're catching me on the replay, hashtag replay and again tell me where you're coming from so yes we're doing the sausage balls spinach balls excuse spinach me balls. spinach balls spinach balls okay so she's over there i told her that if i was making spinach balls she had to cook them she ran people ran she said i don't cook but i had her take the stems off the spinach she grated the cheddar cheese she grated the parmesan cheese so for someone that doesn't cook she did a lot of prep work for me and i appreciate that but she ran people i was gonna have her actually do the spinach balls so guys let me tell you we did have to do some prep work so let me tell you about that Hello, Angelina. Hello, Carolyn. Uh, yes, she did help. It is a good job. She's always a help, though. Like, she kind of cleans up after me as I'm making a mess when we're cooking. So, I appreciate that. So, we took six cups of spinach, fresh spinach, picked the stem off of them, and then uh, poured hot water over them, let that sit for two minutes, then wrung those, that out, Hey, Phyllis, wring that out so it was tight. There's no uh, liquid in it, and that has been fine chopped, okay? So that's what six cups of spinach ends up looking like after all that. We have our oven preheating on, two, on 375, 375, 375. We have a pan that has parchment and a rack. Parchment and a rack. So there we have it. Now, the rest of it is just add it, mix it, make a ball, put it on the pan. So let's go through that. I have one cup of almond flour. One cup of um, grated um, cheddar cheese. Mm -hmm. And a tablespoon of grated Parmesan cheese. And then I have two teaspoons of garlic. A tablespoon of uh, everything bagel. Hey, Cindy. And a teaspoon of your choice of a creo seasoning or an obey or something like that so there you have it i'm going to kind of incorporate that together and then we're going to add the egg so hey james welcome to nana's kitchen James, I haven't gotten you added like you've asked me yet because I've uh, worked all day and I came home and cooked dinner and we've just finished up dinner and I've come live and so as soon as I finish my live, I, um, I will finish cooking this and then I go to my office and I will add everybody that asked me to add them and then it'll be time for me to teach in China. All right, guys, so the important thing about the eggs is that they are at room temperature. These have um, been sitting out since I um, started cleaning up from dinner, and um, and then we I've beaten those together. And we're going to see. I've never made this sausage ball, uh, sausage ball, I keep saying that, um, spinach ball like this, so... 
we will see how they end up. I felt like with six cups of spinach, I needed more um, flour, but it says no, so. So James, where do you live? You may have said it on the post where you asked me to add you, but I don't remember. Alright guys. Tell me if you like spinach balls. Are you a spinach balls in Florida? Bonafé? Is it pronounced Bonafé? Good. Alright, so now I'm going to put on my gloves because I don't really like to touch it. You love the spinach balls? Do you prefer spinach balls or sausage balls? Which is your favorite? Spinach or sausage? Are you making an appearance? You got some to say? to pick up stuff. Uh oh, she's cleaning up. See guys, I put it over the side and it magically gets cleaned up. Now I'm gonna tell you if this works cause I still think it needs more flour. But it didn't, it said one cup. So we're going with it. Okay. What do you think? And it said to make them about an inch um, to an inch and a half. I like it to be bite size, so I'm choosing to to make them like that. Good, yummy. You've never tried spinach balls? Well, this is a perfect recipe to start. If you now, James, are you on a keto diet? Um, if so, is it lazy keto, strict keto? That helps me to know what I should say. Um, are you doing something else that's not keto, but happen to run across a recipe you thought you'd like to try? No, you're not keto? Well, here in my house, we are lazy keto. And sometimes we're even dirty lazy keto. It just depends. Guys, I'm telling you, I'm really feeling like I really need more flour. I'm just going to say. And... Tomorrow, when we do the tasting, we'll know for sure. Yeah, Angelina, I I could not, I don't think I could have been strict keto. First of all, I'm a vegetarian, so that would have prevented it. Um, secondly, um, I think you have to live a life that you can enjoy, and, I, and I'm sure people that are on very strict keto enjoy it, but uh, again, I'm a vegetarian and I love my Brussels sprouts and I'm thinking that I don't know that I could have done away since, I mean, what else, what am I going to eat? So that's why we chose the lazy um, keto. Hey Erica, how are you? So who uh, saw my post about my reboot? I absolutely am so excited, guys, for the first time in forever to be below 180. It is amazing. So now my new goal is to get below 170. So I'd love to be able to do that by the end of the next reboot. Don't know that's going to happen, but I'm going to give it my best shot. We'll see. 
I don't get too upset about that. I don't weigh any other time but before and after the reboot. Thank you, Angelina, for sharing. Hey, Karen, how are you? We're making spinach balls. I've never made them this way, so I'm a little antsy because I feel like it needs a little more almond flour. But we'll see. We'll soon see. Thank you. You know, my first three months, uh, January to March, I didn't lose any weight. I didn't have any fat loss that I was aware of. I didn't, my waist size didn't change. Nothing seemed to um, be working at that point. But I stuck with the uh, supplements that I use as well as with the diet. And um, in March, started seeing the weight slowly come off. At this point, I'm 34 pounds down, so I'm super excited. Um, my um, goal is to get to 130, not because I'm hung up on being 130, but that's what my foot doctor um, feels, you know, would be an appropriate size to for my feet to be able to hold me up. Um, so, we're going to go with that, and we're going to see, but it'll be where I feel happy and where I feel healthy, um, because that's what we're into, a healthy lifestyle, and I'm telling you guys, the more I do this, the more I'm convinced, because it just seems that between the uh, sausage balls and the eggs that it is very wet but we'll see we'll see only 25 minutes we'll tell and then we'll do the tasting tomorrow I'm going to make a uh, use the marinara sauce the Rios Rios Ro whatever however you say it that I get at Costco um, it's low carb, um, and it's good. I'm going to use that as one of the dips. She'll probably tell me she wants a different dip. Probably. Yep. Okay, going to move around so I can get them all on here. All right. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, and that's exactly what the recipe said that I was going to get out of it. I got exactly what it told me. Okay, guys, here they are. What do you think? And now these are going in the oven for 25 minutes, and tomorrow we will do a tasting to see how they turned out. What do you think? How do you think? I do believe they're going to be moist. I absolutely do. Um, James, are you are you saying you're at 340? And yes, they are spinach balls. So yeah, they do look good. They do do these meet with your approval on how they look, Oma? Of course. All right, well, I've got an approval on look, and tomorrow we will get an approval on taste. Pat, you can go back and watch. We just made spinach balls, and um, they will be going into the oven shortly. Thank you, Erica, for sharing. Sharing is caring, and I appreciate it. And guys, don't forget, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Nana's World, if you haven't, um, and um, if you find others that could appreciate that uh, medium please have them subscribe I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers and I would really appreciate your help you guys have a wonderful evening again you're always welcome in Nana's kitchen see you tomorrow guys bye